or what we have done, we have already constructed the p and ledger account, the income statement and also the balance sheet in the session we just went through and therefore, uh, this objective has been achieved. So, what you are talking about is the accounting cycle here. Basically, accounting cycle is nothing but uh, from the ledger accounts, balancing uh, the uh, ledger accounts through trial balance and then drawing a profit and loss account and a balance sheet from it is what is known as the balance of preparation of financial statements from through the balancing account process, which is also termed as the accounting cycle, which starts from the ledger accounts to trial balance to P&L and to the balance sheet. Now, uh, there is a slightly uh, good dimension to this whole accounting cycle in a video clipping, which we will now show you. Welcome to the accounting cycle. Let's get started. Recall from prior modules that the accounting cycle starts with a decision maker engaging in an economic event. That economic event is captured by the accounting system and then the accounting system produces accounting information and that accounting information is provided back to the decision makers. We're going to take a more careful look about what goes on inside the accounting system and how it captures the economic events. For example, if we borrow $10,000 from the bank, that's an economic event. The accounting system is, needs to capture that economic event so that it is properly reflected in the accounting records. The first step in capturing that economic event is to analyze the event. In this case, we're borrowing $10,000 from the bank. We're receiving cash, cash is an asset, and we're promising to pay back in the future. And that promise to pay back in the future represents a liability. The first step in the accounting cycle is to analyze the economic event. Once we've analyzed the economic event, step number two is to record that economic event in the journal. To record the economic event of borrowing $10,000 from the bank in the journal, we debit cash and we credit notes payable. The third step in the accounting cycle is to post to the ledger. Recall that the journal is a chronological listing of all the transactions and the ledger puts all the transactions affecting a particular account together. So the transaction of borrowing $10,000 from the bank would be posted to the ledger by debiting the cash ledger and crediting the notes payable ledger. So step number three in the accounting cycle is to post to the ledger. The fourth step in the accounting cycle is to prepare an unadjusted trial balance. But before we talk about the unadjusted trial balance, let's put things into context a little bit. Recall that we have a periodicity assumption in accounting. That means that, account, that a business cycle is divided into artificial time periods and we prepare financial statements at the end of each of those time periods. So here we see a beginning and an end. For example, the beginning could be the beginning of the year. The end of the time period could be the end of the year. Throughout that time period, economic events are occurring. They're being recorded in the journal and posted to the ledger. So all the economic events that are occurring during this time period are captured by the accounting system by recording them in the ledger recording them in the journal and posting them in the ledger. At the end of the accounting period, we want to make financial statements. But before we can make financial statements, there are some things that we must do. The first thing that we do at the end of the accounting period is to prepare an unadjusted trial balance. We'll discuss the unadjusted trial balance in more detail in this module. After we prepare an unadjusted trial balance, we prepare adjusting entries. Adjusting entries will be discussed in a future module. After adjusting entries, we prepare an adjusted trial balance. And then finally, after the adjusted trial balance, we can make our financial statements. Remember, the goal is always to provide information to decision makers. Financial statements is one piece of information that we provide to our decision makers. So the beginning of the period starts with 
economic events occurring, there's economic events happening throughout the year. The accounting system continually captures those economic events by recording them in the journal and then posting them to the ledger. At the end of the accounting period, we're ready to make financial statements. But before we can make financial statements, we have to prepare an unadjusted trial balance, then adjusting entries, then an adjusted trial balance, and finally financial statements. 